Good afternoon, first grade. I have another story time for you today. There are some creatures around that are hard to catch, hard to catch. Um, I'm thinking of my little friend outside my window. It's been buzzing around all day. She's a little hummingbird. She'd be hard to catch. What else do you think would be hard to catch? A frog, a chicken. <laughs> I have a book for you today called How to Catch a Mermaid. How to Catch a Mermaid. I'm not sure if mermaids really exist, but it's fun to think about these mystical creatures. Here's a pretty picture inside. Be thinking of something that you would like to catch. How to Catch a Mermaid by Adam Wallace and Andy Elkerton. Last week I saw a mermaid. It's not something I'd pretend. I'd really like to catch her so she could be my friend. We'd have the best adventures. I'd learn her mermaid ways. We'd tour her mermaid city. We'd swim for days and days. So here's Cappy Peppy's Sea Shop and Sub Rental. Hey, you two, come follow me. I need you on my team. The water's where we need to plan our mermaid catching scheme. The scheme is how they're going to, how they're going to um, execute their plan. But how to catch a mermaid? You don't learn this in school. We'll need to build a gentle trap and start near the tide pool. A tide pool is a shallow place by the beach where uh, when the tide is high, it covers up all the starfish and clams and different critters. And then when the tide goes out, it's a little bit drier and you can see these creatures. First, I have this jewelry box. She'll love this bait I brought her. She can't resist a treasure chest. Oh no, it's in the water. Silly crabs. And look, this doggy's doing just like George would be doing, barking at the crabs. Well, mermaids love bright, shiny things. A crown will catch her eye. We'll lure her in this new trap, and then our net will fly. So they have the net attached to the fishing pole, and so it'll clamp down when she comes to the crown. Her seaweed lasso snatched the crown. We'll need a different plan. Let's put a sparkly necklace down inside a giant clam. She's, oh, she's sneaky. She switched the necklace with a rock to stop the clam from snapping. Now she has another prize. We need some better trapping. Hmm. She's sneaky. I wonder if they're going to catch her. What do you think? Do you think they're going to catch her? And then what do you do with her once you catch her? I don't know. We made a lasso of our own and hid in the seaweed. Do you see the seaweed? She swam too fast for us to catch. Oh, when will we succeed? Now let's try to switch it up and play some funky beats. What kind of musical instrument are they using? You see that? Maybe that will draw her in. Oh no, there's sharks. Retreat. What do you think retreat means? Retreat, there's sharks. Get away, swim away. Mm -hmm. We escaped from all the sharks. That was a scary scene. But now we get up on our game with this cool submarine. And look who's driving the submarine. Mm -hmm, the doggy. The 
His submarine has robot arms to catch our fishy at last. But this mermaid can't be caught. She really is too fast. It's time to pull out all the stops. We have to be quite sneaky. But she heard our trap from far away. That treasure, tre treasure chest was creaky. Oh no, look out, the sharks are back. We're doomed, what can we do? We used up all our traps and bait. Without some help, we're through. The doggy has a scuba mask. <laughs> our mermaid comes to save the day. So she came to save them. She made a trap to save us. She scares the, scar the sharks and scoops us up. She really is courageous. Courageous, what does that mean? She has courage. What does courage mean? Brave? Hmm. Hooray, we're safe and back on land. Three cheers to our mermaid. We'll miss her smart and clever tricks. We wish she could have stayed. The end. And the doggy's shaking all that ocean water off of him. So, I have a little chore for you. A little job. This is How to Catch a Mermaid by Adam Wallace and Andy Elkerton. What I would like you to do is think of something that you would like to catch. Maybe it's a leprechaun. Maybe it's that hummingbird. Maybe it's, well, it could be anything. Not to be harmful to it. You don't want to be hurtful. But what would you like to capture and just take a look at for a while? I want you to draw a picture of something that you would like to catch and write a little story about it for me. Um, if you do that, Send me a message on Dojo, and I'll set up a meeting where you can show it to me. So, I hope that'll be a fun activity. So, how to catch a mermaid, and then you're going to write how to catch something, something that you would like to catch. So, you have a good day. I hope to see you soon. Until the next story time or the Zoom meeting. We're getting pretty good at those things. Have a good day. Bye-bye.